We are back at the Iowa State Fair 2024, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Cheers. That's the good stuff right there. All right. It's illegal to film at the Iowa State Fair. I don't want to get caught. We're not shamelessly plugging Ford right now by any means. Can you say hi to YouTube? <laughs> I don't have time. Woo. You ready? Oh, more carbs, Dash. Do you do anything? Hello? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to It's All Me. It has been a minute since you've seen my bearded friend Clemp here on the channel. It's been a minute since we've been at the fair on the channel, but we are back at the Iowa State Fair. 2024, ladies and gentlemen, the Iowa State Fair has returned. And the main question is, is it still fun? Is it still worth it? Is it still a good time as I've showcased so many times on the channel? So we're gonna check that out. Clemp brought his, his drink cup. Family Fun Fair. Yeah, Family Fun Fair. Is it truly still Family Fun Fair? I don't know, but we're already having fun because we found something very unique here at the fair. We literally walked in and within a mere feet, we started to look at some old cars. And we saw this car that we've never seen before. It is a 65 Malibu Chevelle. And you'll notice that this license plate says, look, three doors. So we're looking at this beautiful car, great condition. As we go around the side here, you're gonna see again, it's a three door. We look over here and what do you see? You have a, suddenly you have a completely different looking vehicle on the opposite side. You have three doors on this car. I've never in my life seen a three door classic muscle car, but here it is and it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, Christian, are you excited for the fair 2024? Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, I didn't get to come in 2023, so I feel like I've missed out. It's because you just had recently had a child. Yes. Yeah. And now he's one, so. Time flies. Time flies. Yeah, and Dasher Boy's almost a year and a half. Time flies. <laughs> yeah. How is that possible? I know. So, yes, we are back at the Iowa State Fair. This is the first day of the fair, which I don't, if I have ever been here on the first day, it was years ago um, I used to work at the fair when I was in college so I may have worked the first day but I don't recall um, but we literally just got here so we have so much more to see and this is the first of a couple trips to the fair that we have planned this year so join us as we see what the Iowa State Fair of 2024 has to offer and is it really still a good time is it really still worth coming here every summer I'm thinking the answer is yes I'm also extremely biased but at least I'm honest all right, let's go find some nonsense and good food. Yeah, when I was eating breakfast, I was like, man, I hope I didn't eat too much, but I'm already hungry. My stomach's already growling, so it's perfect time to be jumping into the festivities here. Oh, yeah. But the question always, always bears to be asked, what do you start with? What do you start with? Oftentimes I start with the classic, the corn dog. Cause you can't go wrong with a dog. Yeah. A nice crispy fried breaded dog. But then there's another part of me that's like, well maybe I wanna try something different, you know? I could always go for that uh, tenderloin or uh Chicken leg. Chicken leg. Sorry, turkey, tur leg? turkey leg. Yeah, I was gonna say, if they have a huge chicken leg, I'll jump on board with that for sure. Turkey leg. I do like me some chicken. Chicken. Or as my son says, chicken, chicken, chicken. Every time I'm recording, something loud messes loud. up my audio. <laughs> look at it. Look at this cute old lady. Oh, she's so cute. Following her little husband there on the little scooters. I'm a wheelie. <laughs> Show us a trick. Show us a trick. <laughs> oh, goodness. Look at all this stuff, everybody. The Iowa State Fair. We're back. We're back at it again. Also, it's really fun when you uh, we film at events like this because even though it's 2024, people still look at handheld cameras like you're holding a foreign object in your hand. 
and they're just drawn to someone filming. I think they're just like, ooh, uh, he's filming. I wonder what they're from. Like, are they ah, news or are they? That's the, probably what it is. Or are those guys from YouTube? Well, in a matter of fact, we are from the YouTubes. We're quite famous, actually. I don't know if you guys know that. If you're watching this, just know, just know, as my head almost gets blown off, that we are famous. Even if you don't think so. It's really all in a mind, the mind of the beholder. And if you believe in the confidence of things, I'm just rambling. Oh crap, dude, crap, we gotta go. The troopers are here. Oh no, okay. It's illegal to film at the Iowa State Fair. I don't want to get caught. Ooh, they got some old police cars too. Let's go. I like that first one. Oh yeah, dude. Okay, so I know it's illegal to be filming right now. See this officer right here, he's not looking at us, so we're just gonna keep filming. If he sees us, we're in trouble. I'll probably get put in the back of the SWAT vehicle. But this is just too cool not to film. Like, what if this is your daily commuter? Like, oh, I'm just going to work. Going to work at IMT. <laughs> going to get some people some life insurance today. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh no. Hold up. Eight wontons, bacon, brisket, mac and cheese, all about the raspberry, double bacon parm and southwest chicken in wontons. That sounds amazing. What's the sauce? Oh, it must be raspberry. Yeah. Raspberry, double bacon parm, southwest chicken. What's your cheese? Uh, can I do the hot stuffed grilled cheese? Oh my gosh, ghost pepper cheese, pepper jack, white American cheese, crispy jalapenos, golden brown grilled fresh baked Iowa toast. The all American ooey gooey grilled cheese, white American, sharp American, golden brown grilled fresh baked Iowa toast. Deep fried bacon, brisket, mac and cheese, grilled cheese. <laughs> Sliced American cheese slathered in our bacon, brisket, mac and cheese, deep fried to golden brown on our made from scratch bacon cheddar bread. Served with raspberry chipotle dipping sauce. Holy. Sounds delicious. And then you get down here and it's all potato stuff. Yeah. Oh my. Wh which one did he just order? Uh, deep, deep fried brisket, bacon, mac and cheese, grilled cheese. Mother truck, that thing was the size of a brick. Have you had it? Yeah, it's pretty good. Is it fire? Is it really worth it though? Yeah. Like be yeah, honest. I think so. It got best fair food last year. Oh, did it really? Oh, that grilled cheese. Hmm. Okay. I mean, it does say that's delicious with three asterisks on both sides. Is the raspberry sauce really good? Like it just feels so random. A whole bunch of people love it. Really? Yeah. All right. I don't know, bro. That might be the first one I get. Or you want to split it? You want to split it? And then we can get some more food. That's a great idea. Let's do that. All right. Let's do one of those deep fried bacon, brisket, mac and cheese, grilled cheese. Awesome. Thank you, dear. Appreciate you. All right, homie. Let's start this party, huh? That part? Or spoons, I guess. Oh, sporks. Look at, look at this thing. Oh, my goodness. That is nuts. Look at the bread on this thing. There's bread and breading. <laughs> Wow, wow. And then the raspberry sauce. All right, here we go, man. Get to it, bro. Oh, it's syrupy. Oh, that's good. Yeah? That's sauce. That's quite a bit, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It's like, Maple syrup with raspberry. Raspberry. Uh, it said it was chipotle mm -hmm. raspberry. So yeah, it's, yeah. Got, it's got a kick to it. A little bit of spice. Yeah. I like the drizzle effect. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. 
All right, I've waited long enough. You want me to film you? Sure. All right. A nice good dip in there. Here we go. Cheers. Wow. That's a lot of flavor. And that raspberry sauce is fire. Oh yeah. Holy crap. Mmm. Mmm. I'm only one bite in. I would say seven and a half out of ten. Yeah, that's good. Continue diving in. Mmm. The mac and cheese. Nice and salty. The breading on it. On this cheddar bacon bread. Yeah, that's a nice bite there. That's real good. Especially when you add the raspberry sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh yeah. That's from What's Your Cheese? Here at the Iowa State Fair. We didn't walk far before I decided to get more food. We are at Sunday's Flurries. I don't really know what the name of this place is, but they have the best soft serve ice cream cones here. So that's what I'll be getting here at the Iowa State Fair. I don't think they have a name. The Christian Clunk. They don't have a name. I don't think so. It's just treats. Yeah, I don't think that has a name. Just look for the giant ice cream cone where you get the giant ice cream cone. Yeah. Oh, you actually get that one? Yeah. You. That's. For, that's the one I'm buying for three dollars and seventy-five cents. Wow, okay. what it's a good a deal! It's a it's a good deal for the fair, huh? Yeah, uh -huh. for anywhere. For it, true. But for the fair, especially. Yeah. Especially the fair, yes. Uh, vanilla waffle cone, please. Awesome, thank you so much. All right, there we go. Give him a shade, or maybe we get it in the sunlight. There you go. It's not as high as I'd like it, but. It's still gonna be fantastic. I don't know what time they're getting. Chocolate milkshake. Woo! Let's go. Seriously, this ice cream is bonkers. It's so good. It looks like real ice cream. Not that frozen. Yeah, that crystal stuff you get a lot of Chinese yeah. buffets. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's soft serve like a pizza dessert. ranch. Yeah. It's got that pizza ranch good stuff. Very nice, very delicious. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Look at that, that's a yes. small. What? Yeah. Mercy. Uh, I don't want to see the large. Holy no God. kidding, or maybe we do. That's the good stuff right there. All right, winner, winner, chicken dinner. We are two and zero right now, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic start to the fair. Would you agree? I would 100% agree. Yes, we had a three door car followed by a massive, massive sandwich and then ice cream, the don't best chaser. Don't forget avoiding the uh, Oh, and the police, yes, there. that's true. They've yet to catch us illegally filming here at the Iowa State Fair. Hopefully we'll keep it that way. If not, this video may get a little dicey. All right, let's carry on. Oh, we're not ready? Okay, hold on. Here we are, just waiting for Christian to get ready. Getting ready, uh, getting ready. Okay. We're at the Ford, uh, not really tent. I mean, they have a tent, but. Bo the booth Ford area. setup area. Yeah. Uh, Areola. And it's kind of windy and stuff's been blowing around. And yeah. I just feel like it's kind of dangerous. Like, we should have stuff more secure. Like, like oh, oh my. Oh, oh wow, that was a heck. Heck of a gust of wind there. Oh, look at that. Wow. Free hat. I mean, wow. Can't beat that. Thank, thanks to the wind, it really carried that thing from somewhere else. Somewhere. I think yeah. it came from the tent over there. Wow, that was a big gust of wind. Yeah. Wow. Um, so, what are you waiting in line for, Crowder? Crowder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're, we're waiting for this. Uh, is this a Bronco Raptor simulator? Yeah. 
And it, it says here, the Ford Bronco Raptor Simulator is not for the faint of heart. Pounding terrain, pounding, radical turns, haven't heard that since the 80s, and unpredictable physical demands will challenge the riders. Every rider must sign a liability form. Wow. Five guests per ride. Riders must be a minimum of 48 inches in height. I don't know, Clamp, you might not make it. Guests with medical issues should not ride. Well, kind we'll just we'll keep issues. those undisclosed. What kind of medical issues. I don't know. I got gas. Me too. <laughs> now we wait. Now we wait. We'll see you in a minute when we're in the truck. It'll be a few seconds, but you know, that's just because I'm gonna cut the video. No, let's let's insert a weird segment here for like a minute. Okay. Insert weird segment now. Oh boy! Oh jeez! <laughs> We're trying to find Aaron's spirit because he's dead. Clap three times, hey Aaron. Oh, I heard three, but it didn't sound like a hand clap. It hand a, clap three times. It was three faps. Oh! Everyone <laughs> so, we're stranded here and we don't know how to get out. So, this is kind of to be continued. Here we go. Ready. Okay, explain that one to me. How? Here we go. Oh, oh wow. Okay, I want to run. Ooh, look at this. Welcome oh, to the shoot. Ford Bronco Raptor Experience. Well, for every reason, you need Are you excited? I'm so oh excited. God, I bet my next YouTube check will pay for this. I think it's time. Oh, here we go. Woo! Oh, now this is cool. Wow! Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go. Dang. Kind of a rough ride. It is. Woo. I mean, actually, it's really smooth yeah. for what we're doing. <laughs> Club is a phenomenal driver. Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo! Should we have buckled up? This is my driveway. So. <laughs> We're just going to Casa de Clemp. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if we get car sick? You film it. <laughs> <laughs> There's Clemp driving like a maniac, trying to get us oh, home. Man. Oh, look out, look out. Guys, we're oh, oh. Move. oh. I have a stabilizer on this. So here's the reference. There's the outside. Wow. You can see how much it's uh, moving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow! I literally want to drive this track in real life. Uh, yeah. Wow, look at that Baja! Wow! Wow, I feel like we're gonna fall forward. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh whoa! We we just went through a a portal. Portal. We're in another dimension. We're in Iowa now. <laughs> oh, we're hitting branches. I need you to get us out of here. No, get man. us back to the Iowa State Fair. Oh, is that Seth over there? Seth! Seth, come on, man. Seth, stop hiding in the cat's oh, He's over there. He's over there. Go, go, go. Oh, here we go. Let's go, get him. go, get him. Go. Oh. Watch out for the deer. Oh, wait. No, it's just posts. Oh, oh. Oh, man. He must be over the hill. Oh. Almost. Next year, yeah. 40. Yeah. Wow, we're back. Oh, oh. Oh, we're in a race. Oh, get out of the way, bro. You're, you're drifting. Oh, oh. You're drifting. Man. Wow. Oh, he's spinning up too much. That's that's extremely oh, rude. Oh, 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 oh. We just hit a cone. Thankfully, it wasn't that pole. Listen, I need you to not hit the cones next time, okay? I'm gonna hit them. Next Stop time. hitting the cones, Clem. I'm aiming for them. You're really good at drifting, though. Oh, oh. Wow. Oh. Oh, nice drift. Nice drift. Oh, nice there, drift. There nice drift. Seth, Seth. Oh. We missed that. We'll get him in the next round. Is that Gert? Oh, Gert! Ow! Oh. Finish line! Oh. We did it. We 
did it. We made good, it. Good driving, man. Oh, man. All right. Good job, guys. Good hey, job. thank you. Uh, all right, buddy. Thanks, man. That was some good driving, Clamp. Thanks, well done, man. man. Thanks. Yes, ma'am. Never would have thought you just drive a minivan all the time. Took a lot of practice in the minivan, but. Yeah, that's true. Minivans are really good for practice. Yeah, especially with all the distractions. Are you stealing my bag, bro? Are you trying to steal me, bro? With your pink bag? My pink bag. <laughs> We're not Video shamelessly plugging Ford right by. now by any means. They didn't pay us to do this. Or did they? I mean, I am a famous YouTuber. You decide. Let us know in the comments. Do you think Ford paid us to do this? Clue. Wait, yeah. Hey, look out, look out. Yes, they did. Oh, oh shoot, shoot, shoot. What many people don't know about the Iowa State Fair here in Des Moines, Iowa, is that it actually takes place on prison grounds. And once you come in here, you're actually an inmate during the tenure of your ticket. So we're not actually allowed to leave because we have barbed wire fencing. It's so like, that's literally the free world right there. And in order to jo enjoy the festivities, if you will, of the Iowa State Fair, one has to become a convict, which again, is why it's illegal to film here. But you all know here on It's All Me, I don't, I don't stray away from specific illegal activities. And this falls into that uh, category. You can actually see I'll zoom up, there's a couple guys out there in highlighter vests, those are police officers that are making sure that nobody leaves the fairgrounds that are not supposed to leave. And no one enters. Looks like they just released a bunch of, bunch of prisoners. I mean, that's good for them. They have some free time now. Some outdoor time, if you will. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off before someone catches me filming. Door in your room. I wouldn't like that. I don't even know no one creeping in on me while I'm sleeping. Butt up in the air. <laughs> I feel too exposed. <laughs> okay, the reason I'm filming in this one, you have to see this. First of all, it has a legit just deck outside. How cool. But, 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 you pull this down. Okay, why is it this here? It doesn't go all the way to the floor. Oh, it's because you have a projector to watch TV from your love seat in your camper. Oh, just watching the game. Oh, hey, Clem. Oh, dude, this is only 37,000. Are we in a pedestal? Dude, okay. Did you kick? Yeah. All right, hey, bye, Clem. Thanks for letting me in your house. Welcome to the Iowa State Fair. <laughs> All right, so we're just walking. Which is, you do that a lot here at the Iowa State Fair. You walk a lot. And suddenly, Clem starts talking about mini donuts. Which they have mini donuts here that are incredible. But the thing he's talking about, he's like, that screen. And I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, dude, the screen is huge. So then we found the mini donuts and we found this screen. <laughs> It's the biggest screen for mini donuts. That's it. They have a screen. That screen is literally bigger than the actual cart that they make donuts in just to market their donuts. So as Clemp said, when I said, yeah, those mini donuts are fire, he said, well, they better or they must be for as big as that screen is that they bought. We're just transfixed. By the fact that they... It's kind of laggy. I'm kind of disappointed in yeah. the quality of screen. I agree. I hope it doesn't reflect their mini donut. Agree. Like, why is it going so chop choppily? Hashtag choppily. Look it up in the dictionary. You'll see. 
This is what entertains us at the Iowa State Fair. A, a choppily viewed mini donut video on a screen bigger than the actual donut truck. All right, so as we're standing here by the giant screen, we're hearing this music over this direction. And Clem's like, is that the talent show? I said, I don't know, look it up. Apparently, it is the Little Merman show. Disney movie hits. There may be a copyright hit on this part. If so, then it'll be muted and you won't actually hear the audio. But we, I mean, we have to go get a shot of the Little Merman. food here I'm trying to figure out what to get I smelled pizza up here and it smelled ridiculous but it's got to be the right price for me to get it because again pizza's not really fair food but if I'm craving it I'm gonna get it I mean, it could be fair food if you want it to be fair. true I mean you're eating it at the fair so technically it is fair food but to me it doesn't really qualify it smells fantastic nah the slices are itty bitty bro nah We'll keep on moving. We got a uh, bucket of nachos. It was highly disappointing. Don't get me wrong, the cheese was warm enough, but it was like, Such a disappointment. it was, we ordered a bucket and it was basically a, a medium sized bowl with a handle with semi coagulated cheese on top of all the chips. So we had so many naked chips it's like, listen, you gotta, you gotta put chips and then a layer of cheese, and then chips and a layer of cheese. They just didn't know what they were doing. They tried. It's not to say we didn't enjoy it. We did. I mean, we cried a little. We cried. Yeah. I mean, we're still complaining about it. For being, if we're being honest, and we were talking about a lesson learned. Um, but yeah, we've just basically been wandering around, not doing a whole lot that's uh, camera worthy. But right now, we're really in the mood for more food. We gotta make it for that nacho purchase. Dude. It's getting real windy. Look at it this. is, yeah. On the camera, just like everything is still. It's like, what? It's not windy. No, I'm just kidding. As you can see, we're still here. Uh, everybody else is still here too. It's it's an incredibly beautiful night. I don't currently know the temperature. 75. 75 degrees, low, du low humidity, low dew point, which is fantastic. It's clearly breezy as you can see, but it's beautiful. So now it's really just deciding what we want to cap off that the poor nacho purchase for. We can always go back towards the Disney area and see what's offered over there. They do have more options and such over there. Should we do that? Let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's continue to on the fair this way. Trying to figure out what we're gonna look at. We're gonna look at this other uh, pizza place that I've ordered from before. It's very good. I just don't know if it's still the same good deal that it, it's been in the past because everything is more expensive in today's world. So we'll see. They got garlic ranch pickle pizza. That sounds nice. Interesting. Interesting flavor. Garlic ranch pickle pizza. Look at this. Fresh baked with sliced pickles, mozzarella, cheddar, and garlic dill drizzle atop a creamy garlic sauce. I mean, don't get me wrong, that sounds fantastic. All right, so we got pizza by the slice, six. Whole pizza is 45 bucks. Are you? <laughs> Dude, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. Thanks. Or if you want a specialty, it's $50. It's $3 soda refill, so. That's true, this is a good place to get a refill, but 45 or 50 bucks for a whole pizza? Wow. Stop. That's the whole pizza right I, there. I can like, stop. My family that much. Oh my goodness. Dude, how much food can we buy here at the fair individually for 50 bucks? More than one piece of pizza. I mean, more than, okay. more than a, whole a whole pizza. Half a pizza, because we split it. Yeah. 
that's like so a specialty slice is seven bucks. So if I wanted this new pickle pizza, it'd be seven dollars. It just doesn't feel worth it to me. For a slice of pizza, seven bucks? I mean, they are pretty big slices. Yeah, I mean, they're not but, super small. Yeah. I didn't get a glimpse of the pizza. This is what we're working with here. So that's seven dollars. Don't get me wrong, it looks good. But who knows how long it's been sitting there. Nah, bro. According to me, the, the search continues. I mean, Taco King looks like it has some pretty decent stuff. Got fladas, burritos, tacos pastor, horchata, tacos de asada, quesadillas. But we're also talking more like full meal prices as well, like 16 bucks for a burrito. Dude, Clemp and I have been talking about this today. Like, it should be illegal to price gouge people like this. It's so stupid. And it's funny because we all pay it because if we don't, we don't get the experience. But $16 for a single burrito? I can go to Poncheros or Chipotle and get uh, a whole burrito and nachos. And a drink. For that price. Literally. Literally. Well, I don't know what we're going to do, but you'll see when we figure it out. <laughs> Food update, Clint committed to uh, some greater taters. My mom will enjoy this part. She loves greater taters. See, this is better. We paid $10 for a medium-sized bowl of nachos labeled as a bucket, and Clint paid eight bucks for a literal bucket of greater taters covered in nacho cheese. I think that was a great rebound. Oh yeah. I think you did a really good job. These are delicious. I still haven't figured out what I'm gonna do but I'm really proud of what Christian has decided on. He, he eyed these up earlier, and he's like, ooh, that sounds really good. And it was the right time to come back and get them. Clem, I'm just really proud of you. Thanks. And I love you, okay? I love you. Number 37, please. Hey, that's my age. <laughs> All right, guys. For whatever reason, the first time in the history of the Iowa State Fair for me, I'm struggling to figure out what my next item is. I think I'm struggling to spend the money on it right now, and if my wife was here, she'd be like, just get it, who cares, it's for fun. And I understand that. I just don't want to pull the trigger on those right now. So I think I'm going to do the fail-safe option, and I'm going to get a corn dog. Because I get one every year anyways. So I think it just makes sense to get that. And then Clem and I will figure out some dessert, and we'll go from there, and I think everybody will end and their, their time at the fair on a very happy note. So I'm gonna go up here and get myself a nice foot long corn dog. All right, it's loud over here, so bear with me. I'm not gonna throw my corn dog away, I just bought it. I got the classic foot long corn dog and we're standing in front of the Ye Old Mill. It's actually the first place that Clemp and I kissed. I don't remember this. Oh. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. I don't think that was good. Oh, okay, my mistake. Moving on, anyways. Foot long corn dog, the ye old mill. When you go on this ride, it's literally, you go through a tunnel and it's just lit up pictures of like the farming history of Iowa. It's well worth the like $10 to ride it, but not really. But it's a, a fair tradition. The mural you see on the back wall there is the 1932 train drive. So they used to actually, take trains and run them into each other as an a form of entertainment here at the Iowa State Fair. So when you think you know everything about the Iowa State Fair, ask yourself, did you know that they used to crash trains on purpose here? All right. You can watch me eat a, a, a foot long corn top on YouTube. Oh wow. I get one every year and it still surprised me how good it is. That wasn't supposed to happen. All right, well anyways, I guess we're just gonna eat this way. Very good, you gotta get a corn dog at the fair, baby. Now it's dessert time. Let's go get some dessert. Great shot. Yeah, that makes sense. I 
I, I have to put this on my video because I need to know the consensus. I need everyone to comment and let me know what they think of the Tesla Cybertruck. This is probably the best looking one I've ever seen. The black looks be way better than the gray, but I don't know. I think those wheels are huge. Those are definitely not Tesla. Yeah, those are definitely not factory wheels. But what do you think? Is this thing the most ridiculous looking thing you've ever seen, or do you think it's amazing? Like, I don't know. I think the back end on it's so stupid. <laughs> the black, don't get me wrong, the black looks way better than this one. I will gladly admit that. But, and these rims obviously help a lot too. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's a truck, bro. It's called a cyber truck. Wow, interesting. All right, yeah, let me know. What do you think? Cybertruck, worth it? Stupid? I think it's dumb. That's just my thoughts. <laughs> Clemp loves it. <laughs> this is where we're friends and we agree to disagree. I think it's the most stupid thing ever. Although the black does look way nicer than the gray and the rims help a lot. You've added something else to your list now. Chocolate malt. Uh, chocolate malt. Is that right. your second one of the day? No, you had a milkshake. I had a shake earlier. That's right. Yeah. Chocolate milkshake earlier compared to your chocolate malt now. What do you think? I like the malt better, but malt. I'm a malt guy. So. True. You definitely are a malt guy. Yeah. Now, can you explain to me what is truly the difference to you? Because I honestly don't know. It's malted milk. Okay. So it's thicker. Okay. So you like it thick is what you're saying. You like, I like a thick, it thick daddy. Thick daddy milkshake. Yes. Okay. That's fair. So this is what I've added. I added a cine sundae. Just four mini cinnamon rolls, ice cream, caramel, drizzle. <laughs> I feel so uncomfortable right now. <laughs> I was so not expecting that. <laughs> Caught me off guard. But yes, I'm excited for this. We're gonna chat on this. We're starting to slow roll our way to the end of the fair for us today, but we're not done yet, folks. We're not done yet, so hang tight. The adventure continues. As night falls upon the first full day of Iowa State Fair 2024 coverage here in Des Moines, Iowa. That does not end the Iowa State Fair 2024 coverage here on It's All Me, for that is simply just beginning. But as far as Christian Clemp. And myself go. Things are slowing down to a crawl. I have consumed my Cine Sunday. My mouth's all gone. <laughs> I feel better after that. Do you have anything oh, in the tank? Oh, this is a burp contest? I didn't realize. Oh, yeah, go for it. Give me what you got, big boy. Well, I didn't come prepared. Oh. You always gotta be prepared. <laughs> Not much. Dude. Not much. <laughs> but yes, uh, that is gonna be a wrap for us two gentlemen. Hey, that was better. There we go. Yeah. We do need to have another burping contest, don't we? Yes. There we go. Mash it up. Burping contest at the fair. <laughs> I mean, there's definitely been people that have said, go do burping in public. And I'm like, eh, it's tough because I have manners <laughs> and consideration for other people. But um, this video is not done. More coverage to come. We will be back here in a few, few short days, which will literally just be a few short seconds for you guys. And that will be myself, Teeny, Gert, another good bird. And little Dasher Boy. So we will be here on Monday. So, on that note, we here on Thursday bid you adieu. And we see you soon again. I see you soon again on Monday. Clem, uh, wrap us up for our first day of the 2024 Iowa State Fair. 
remember, it's all me and no foot. And we'll see you in a few seconds on Monday. As I put my stuff down. Okay, Monday, Jesse, take over, right now. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your patience as you were transferred from Thursday night at the Iowa State Fair to Monday afternoon at the Iowa State Fair. As Jesse and Christian from Thursday had mentioned, it is now myself and Teeny and Daniel and little Dasher boy. Hi, Dash. Hi, Dash. Can you wave? <laughs> yeah, buddy. This is Dasher boy's first time at the fair. The weather is definitely different than it was on Thursday. Thursday was literally perfect. Don't get me wrong, today's great too. It is lightly drizzling at times, lightly raining at times, but ultimately it's like 70 degrees, maybe 68 degrees. Um, as you can see, there's definitely plenty of people around. You could say I was pretty drippy right now. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. I was got that drip. Gert always keeping us on our toes. <laughs> I took a few. <laughs> There's all the peeps. Now, we have been here for a while already. We got off the bus and we were all deeply craving food. So we literally just ran and got food immediately. What we started off with was bacon, brisket, queso, cheesy potatoes. Gert got that uh, deep fried sandwich that Christian and I got on Thursday. And then Teeny got Supreme Fries, which you've seen on previous coverage of the Iowa State Fair. And, oh, and then we got ice cream too. And Dasher Boy got to enjoy pretty much all of that to some degree. And so now we're gonna go into the East Exhibit Hall and get a Tootsie Roll. Oh, yeah. That's Dasher One of my highlights for the fair. Yes. Something Teeny looks forward to every year. Thank you. Hi, buddy. <laughs> you want to pet him? Good job. Dash, what is that? Is it a dog? What does the dog say? Wow, he completely froze. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> a dog? Ah. Yeah, what's a dog say? Ah. Do you like it? You like the doggy? <laughs> You're so gentle. Good job. <laughs> oh, big boy. Are you driving the fire truck? What if we do this? <gasps> now our sirens are going. Dash, look at mommy. Can you wave? I think it talks, or at least it used to. Hi, doggy. Do you do anything? Hello? Mama. Should we go look at the police truck? Wow, look at bud. This is part of the reason daddy wanted to be a cop. Mama. Yeah? Mama. Oh, you want to go look at the motorcycle? Mama. Okay. Wow. Is that cool? Mama. What do you see now? Oh, you see Herky. Can you wave at Herky? Hi, Herky. Can you say thank you? Good job. Mama. Now you want to go look at the motorcycle? Mama. Okay. There's the motorcycle. Do you like the motorcycle? Mama. Yeah, now you want to see the bird again? Mama. Yeah, we'll go back to the bird, okay. Can you say hi, bird? Hi, birdie. Now what? You want to go back to the fire truck? Yeah. Well, there's other kids in there, so we gotta, we gotta come back another time. Okay, say bye-bye. Can you wave at them? 
Can you wave? Hi. Hey guys. How are you? He's just transfixed by your uniforms. Oh. <laughs> so we just got him over to look at him. Yeah. Can you wave at him? <laughs> you say thank you? They do a lot for us. Keeping us safe? Yeah. He's just taking it all around. He is, he is. <laughs> you say bye bye? All right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <Bye>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, those are police officers, buddy. They keep us safe and they do so many things. Yeah, they save lives and protect people. Yeah, like we watch on TV. I was gonna say, he knows all about it. Yeah, watch on TV. yeah. Just like this guy, he saves lives and protects people too. Yeah. He's like, uh, Uncle Dan does? Some people. Yeah, believe it, bud. <laughs> What'd you find, bud? Did you find a mower? Hey, Dash, can you say mower? Yeah, good job. Are you gonna ride it? Do you like Do you like the wet tires? It's raining right now. Yeah, happy Happy Iowa State Fair, everybody. Uncle Dan found a dry one that you can sit in. Well, I can actually see the blades. Good job, buddy. Look at you. What's a, what's a mower say? Mama's gonna take a picture of you. Dash, what's a mower say? Map. Yeah, map. Just it says mo, mo, mo. <laughs> you know what? Dash was made in Iowa too. <laughs> His face. <laughs> test test the tires. Yeah. You gotta make sure it's safe. <laughs> What do you see? Mama. Mama? Big mama? <laughs> Let's stop saying that. <laughs> Where's the next big mama? Mama. mama? mama. Right there. Is that big mama? Mama. Oh, this is big mama too? Big mama. Where's big mama? Oh, there she is. Mama. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's just me MacGyvering something. <laughs> Wow. Can you wave at Herky Dash? Wave at Herky. Hi, Herky. Hi, Herky. Good job. Good job. You go give him a high five. Good job. Do you want a Hawkeye tattoo? Yeah. Yeah? Can you come over here? <laughs> are these tattoos? These are tattoos. All yep. right. Yeah, we're gonna need one. We're gonna need a Hawkeye tattoo, aren't we, buddy? That's right. You say thank you? <laughs> Sometimes he does. That's okay. Here, you can have one of those too. This is a football schedule. All, All right. right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Do you want a pencil? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. Look at that, Dad. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the fair. Thank you. Can you show me your tattoo? You show Dada your tattoo. All right. It's time for more food. Daniel has decided to grab a new fair food. I think it's a new fair food. It doesn't say new item, so it might not be. Uh, right here. Cool Ranch Pickle Spears. They are deep fat fried pickles with, I think, Cool Ranch Dorito stuff, maybe? Or maybe it's just because they have ranch on top of them? I'm not really sure. But Gert has opted to get those. So we'll see here shortly when he receives said Cool Ranch Picklers, if he appreciates and likes the amount. Oh, I, I think I see them in there. And if I'm not mistaken, they look really good. <laughs> They're a fair food of Real good. <laughs> yeah. You can't really go wrong with the fair food. That's true. Here's Dash. Hi, Dash. What, Hi, baby. <laughs> As you can see, it has not dried up one singular bit. It was not forecasted to rain the entire day, yet it has opted to do so. But we're making the best of it. Selfishly, 
Teeny and I would prefer sunshine to a degree, but we'd also rather it not be 110 degrees like it usually is. So honestly, I'd much rather it be like this than super, super hot because then you're just so uncomfortable. And really the only uncomfort that we're having or discomfort that we're having is when it's misting heavily and you get all damp and it feels humid and stuff. So they're really taking a long time in these pickles. Hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. Tiny like that one. <laughs> There's Gert, still standing there. Still in his baby blue shirt. I think Gert just cussed her out. Hey, did you just cuss her out? Wow, way to practice your patience. <laughs> hey, Dash, can you say hi to YouTube? <laughs> I don't have time. He's like, look at my best side. No time. You got it. You got it. Might be hot. He did it. Woo! There, there are definitely cool ranch Doritos on those pits. Oh, yeah. For sure. You want to let them cool before you dive in? I think so. Okay, we'll come back when you dive in. I barely made it, but I got it. Mm. First bite. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Can you taste the Doritos? Like you were hoping? The pickle overwhelms them. Okay, that's fair. But they're good. Yeah. yeah. Really I mean, good. dill pickle is very strong flavor. All right, what do we get for little Dasher Boy? Got some cheesy potatoes. Ooh. You ready? Oh, more carbs, Dash. Yeah, you're. <laughs> <laughs> Is it hot? It's hot. Ah. Mama tried ah. to cool it down. Can you say thank you? Okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Is that Uncle Dan? <laughs> Can you blow a kiss to Uncle Dan? Or just wave? That's fine just, too. Just that waves. works. Ah. It's hot still? Ah. Are you sure oh you're just gosh. not being a really good actor? Dash, are you a good actor? Yes or no? Oh no, your shoe! What have you done? Oh no! You want daddy put it back on? Can I do it with one hand while filming for YouTube? <laughs> I'd, you say, a, I'd say that's a dad win I'm right there. Say, are you a, a full on dad again? I'm a full on dad. Did I, did I mention that I got a pretzel? I don't think I did. I got a pretzel. It was really salty. And I don't know if you know this, but if you're eating something that's salty and it tastes way too salty than you're used to, it's probably because your sodium amounts in your body yeah. no. are high enough. If your sodium levels are low, you're gonna always wanna put more salt on your food. So that's how you know if you have enough sodium in your body. The more you know. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. We don't want to get too Mercy. wet. Mercy. <laughs> we don't want to get too wet. That's fun. Though. Then you're going to be cold, bud. <laughs> Dang, if he went, he went. It's fine. It closed up. Dash, what are we looking at right now? Oh, what are we looking at? Can you show me? So let me grab that sign real quick. All right, so this says, go ahead and touch me. Watch. Go down their little spine. Close and up. it closes up. Yeah, be gentle. Oh, be gentle. That's crazy. Yeah, this is a big one. Look at that one. Wow. That's crazy. Isn't that cool? Nature. Hey, sir! 
Yes, you won that baby a prior gift. No, you're gonna give me one? No. Nope. Come play. Nope. <laughs> Amen. Dash, what do you see? Wawa. Wawa? Do you like it? Wawa. Wawa? All right, as you can see, it's it's been dark all day, but it's getting dark enough now to where it's time to head home and end our day at the fair. Us, this uh, group, this group of four, Dash, <laughs> Teeny, <laughs> myself, and Dan. All right, Dash is laughing. He's ready to round it up. R round it up? What, what am I trying to say? Uh, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap, yeah. wrap it up. My gosh, I'm tired. Round it up. Round it up. <laughs> we are getting ready to load our bus and we are going to head out of the fair. It's been a great day. It's been wet. We just definitely put a damper. Damper? Get it? I'm a dad. Put a damper on our time here. But overall, it's still a great day. We had a great time. Dash's first day at the fair. That's right. Yes, our first time at the fair as uh, parents with our child. So on that note, thank you guys for joining us. Hopefully you enjoyed this year's coverage of the Iowa State Fair 2024. It truly is still so much fun. And we will see you guys in the next one. As always, remember, it is all me and no foot. And we all will see you in the next one. In the next one. Hey, goodbye, Gert. Bye. Bye.